If you already have it established in your mind that we're in the last days, then this message is not going to be that hard to receive. 2 Thessalonians chapter 2, the Apostle Paul speaks about a great falling away. He also says in 1 Timothy chapter 4 verse 1, that in the latter times, some shall depart from the faith, giving heed to seducing spirits and doctrines of devils. Whenever you read about the last days, even in Matthew 24, talks about one main subject. Starts with a D. E C E P T I O N Deception Deception Where the where is the deception? It's everywhere, but where is the Bible concern about you being deceived at? Church Church, where do false prophets abide in? Where do they abide at? Church buildings. Where do false apostles that masquerade as angels of light in 2 Corinthians chapter 11 reside at? Church buildings. Where do false teachers, false everything, church buildings, you know what this is? It's a temple made with human hands. Made with human hands. Acts chapter 7 verse 48 says this. Know ye not that the Most High does not dwell in temples made with human hands? The Bible says he doesn't dwell in a building or the building walls. In 1 Corinthians, 1 Corinthians chapter 3, verse 16. Very interesting, those numbers. 316, what's John 316? Everybody knows that. Now we're looking at 1 Corinthians 316. Know ye not that ye are. The temple of God and the Holy Spirit of God dwells in you. Dwells in you. So what's with all these people pushing, going to the buildings? You know, I talk to a lot of these people. You know the first thing that they ask you? What church do you belong to? You know what they mean? They don't mean what group of people do you belong to. They mean what building do you go to? What denomination are you? We are in the last days. And the massive, massive falling away has happened already. It's happened internally. And when a person has fallen away internally, what they're looking for is something externally. A building for comfort, for truth. They're looking for a building. A corporation, a business, because inside there's something missing and there's something seriously wrong. Because the Holy Spirit dwells in us in 1 Corinthians 3.16. We are the temples of God. We are. The holy place is wherever you are as a believer. That's it. But so many people these days, first thing, what, what church do you go to? I'm not looking for a building to find truth. I'm not looking for the people in a building to find truth. Because all the Bible tells me about is false prophets, a falling away, false apostles, false teachers. And the buildings are where they abide at. You know what I see this? And I see a cross at the top, right? 
the cross at the top of the building. You know what this tells me? Beware. Beware. That's all I see when I see these buildings today. Some people see them as a sign of hope. Oh, they hear that music that goes on. Oh, when they see a church building. To me, I see a red, big red flashing light that says, Beware. This is where wolves in sheep's clothing abide at. And this is where they want to get you. They're more concerned about this. Your attendance record to a building. Your allegiance to a denomination. It's let's get them to the building. You think this isn't at all a plan from the devil? Do you think that the devil is going to say, oh, let's go smash these buildings, these trips? No. He's going to join the buildings. He's going to send his people in the buildings. And he's going to use the buildings. He, the devil is not going to try and crush God. He's going to try and pervert God's people. He says, I will be like the Most High. In the Old Testament. Well if you're like the Most High. Then you're in church too. You got churches too. And they look the same. They say the same thing. Church with the cross. And you know. Who this gets. The majority of people. The people who are using these eyes. The physical eyes. The carnal eyes. But this ain't going to get the spiritualized person. If your spiritual eyes are opened by God. This ain't going to get you. But they're going to use it against you. They're going to use this against you. They're going to say, well, you don't go to the building. You don't go to the building enough. You don't go to the building at all. So I'm worried about your faith. Even though you know all the Bible talks about in the last days is an apostasy. But no. This is what they will use against you. And you knowing all along. That it's all a complete deception. You know that these are the places. That's, that's where you get deceived. And it's a power structure. It's a power structure. Notice, and it's interesting, notice the, the, the roof of it. It's a pyramid. Why are they usually pyramids like that? Aren't they almost always pyramids? Because it's a pyramid scheme. It's a Ponzi scheme. Just like on your dollar bill, you know the Egyptian pyramid that the Illuminati used? Why aren't they squared off on the top? Or just like a regular roof. There are always these huge pyramids. That's really interesting to me. Hmm? Just like the, the Illuminati money that we use. Right? And then uh, at the top of the pyramid you have the all seeing eye. Right? And then it just trickles down like to the, to the public. To the base. This is, this is how it works today guys. This is where... This is one of the most dangerous places spiritually that you can go to. And physically. And physically. Most of the people that go to these were told by the people who run the buildings. Take the shot. Take it. Eh, take it. It's okay. It's your decision. Take it. Take the shot. The people who told you that run these. They're part of it. And then they say, well, they don't, they don't, very few, very, very few get up there and tell you, don't take it. It's going to kill you. It's going to maim you. It was made to destroy you and the human race. No. Even the churches that, that are, you know, halfway okay, they said, well, it's your choice. No, it's not your choice. They shouldn't have left it in your hands. You don't know. They should have told you no. This is the most dangerous thing spiritually to a person. And like I said, physically. And like I said, physically. You have preachers. See, this is how they get you. They'll tell you some truth. They'll preach some truth to you. Because they know what's coming. They're in it. They're part of the, the you know, I don't want to say all the words, you know, the Freemasons and the Illuminati and the, Jesuits and all these things, right? But they know that the shot was coming. So they say, well, you know, we could just tell them whatever they want and preach truth and deep truth. But when the shot comes around, 
Tell them, take it! No, it's good! Take it! Some churches even said, take it or you can't come back for a while. Ha <laughs> ha. Wow. You know why? Because this is it. This is it. We're in the last days and they're depopulating the earth and they're destroying the human race. And most of the guys who run the buildings and women, they don't care if you believe truth or not before that because they're like, if they take the shot, they're going to be, you know, worm food. It's going to destroy them anyways. That's the whole plan. Get as many people gathered in the church thinking that something holy is going to happen because you're in their building. And then when the, when the killer, the, the thriller from Manila killer, the wax, the wax off, wax on, waxing comes, right? How's it look? Now when the needle comes, right? That's, that's all it was for to get you to this point. We're in the last seven years. This is it. The last days. The depopulation agenda that the book of Revelation talks about. Says that like a third or a quarter of the earth is going to be destroyed and killed. What do you think this is for? And the church has told you, take it. We're in the last days. This is it. If you took it without knowing, it's not your fault. I'm just exposing the lies.